Hello and welcome to lesson three. Today's fly is the gold ribbed hare's ear. Now this fly has been around for many, many years, but was brought into prominence for reservoir fishing by John Wadham in the 1970s, when he made the fly much larger with a more pronounced gold rib and a more scruffy appearance than the old times used to like. I think you'll find this is a winner. Now let's, let's show you the materials you'll need to do it. Bobbin holder with brown tying thread, gold head beads, dubbing mix, beeswax, gold ribbing, dubbing brush, and I will tell you more about this later, a brown cock hackle, and finally varnish for the head, and that's all we need. Put the bead in the container with the larger hole uppermost. Wet the end of your finger and press down firmly. Lift it round. Thread your hook through the hole. And there you are, ready to go. We start this fly using well waxed thread because this is our first dubbed hair fly. We'll just do it as we normally do, so far down the body. Zap off a little bit of waste, down to the tail of the fly. And then we put in the tail, as we've done before in the last one that we tried. Just grasp the tail end like that, pinch the loop. There's the tail. Tied so far down the body just to give us a little bit of bulk. Chop off the waist. At this stage, we'll tie in our gold rib. Most people tie it in at the tail. And this, I'm tying it, it helps to keep the gold head in place. Apart from being secure. Sorry, Mr. Cameraman. Down to the tail, back up again to the gold head. Give a little bit more wax on the thread. Now this is a bit which will you may well have a little bit of difficulty with in the early stages, is applying the dubbing. The old man who taught me how to tie flies used to say, pluck out as much as you think you'll need and then half it. But that's in the days of the old fashioned spider patterns. I don't think we really need to do this because we do use quite a lot on this pattern. Spin it on, twisting it just in one direction. Don't try going backwards and forwards, otherwise you'll roll it on and roll it off. Now we've got a nice little rope there. Wind it down the body. Nice, even turns. Back up again. Just turn it down. Now we're going to use the gold rib. This is bit different to anything you'll normally see in the shops. As far as I can see it's only obtainable from Steve Parton. It's virtually indestructible and it doesn't tarnish. I defy any trout to break his way through that lot. So we tie it in nice and firm and chop it off. Oh, it's going mad. And what we do at this stage we've got a dubbing brush it's a handy little tool, uh, ever so expensive. It's the price of a lolly, lollipop stick and four little bits of Velcro stuck on the end. And it just raises all the fur that's been trapped down between the gold rib. That's all we need to do initially with it. Now we're going to put a little bit more wax. Well, we were going to put a little bit more wax. having an accident prone day today. Can't have it going all your way all the time, can you? Now we're going to build a thorax up. We've probably got a little bit too much, but too much is better than too little. You can always take it off the thread. Take it away. Now 
Let's throw away the excess. Now at this point in time, we're just going to put a little half hitch on here to hold it. Don't like where that one lay. Do another one. Then we get the old magical dubbing brush out again. Keep your thread handy because if you tie it off at this stage and then dub it, it's quite easy for the rough bristles on the dubbing brush to undo the knot that you've done. So just leave your, your final knot until you finish doing your dubbing. There we are. You can see the broad gold rib beneath the gold hair, the gold, the gold rib beneath the hairs here. Now I'm going to finish off with two double half hitches. One. Oh dear me, come as you've done it. That shouldn't happen to a nice guy like me. There we are, back down the corners. I've done nothing to deserve all these little accidents today. There we are. Let me chop it off. And then we're going to apply a little drop of varnish. Just a finishing touch. Not too much. You don't want it too much on your hair. So. There we are. That should be enough to hold it in place. All you've got to do is let that dry. And you're away. Nice shaggy little fly. And that's the end of lesson three, the gold ribbed hair's ear. I would be interested to know how you've got on, so keep me posted. From Dave Camis and the team, happy fishing.